We all invested in mechanization, as I said, and extension services together with the revival of irrigation projects and collaborating with county governments to support farmers through the provision of subsidized inputs. Yesterday, again, I was in Migori, and I did explain to Kenyans in Migori that next year we will equally be expanding the Lower Kuja irrigation program from the current 5,000 acres to 19,000 acres in the program that we have for next year. Again, to expand our production of rice in Kenya that currently we have very serious deficit. And in fact, it is draining most of our foreign exchange earnings. This is why we are confident that an economic renaissance powered by agro-industrial revival is underway in the region. This will certainly lead to a renewed vibrancy of our ancient lakeside market, Kesumo or Osumo, where the communities of our region gathered to conduct butter trade of highly needed commodities. Let me, I was telling Professor Nyang Nyong that uh, the word Osumo, which means exchange of uh, um, products and, and, uh, and, and goods, butter trade in, 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 in essence, means the same thing for the communities in this region. Kesumo means the same thing as Osumo. Kesumo in the Kalenjin language and Osumo in the language of this uh, region. So we're all, you know, uh, it's, it's quite a, a, an experience. Kesumo has not just been a center of activity for local communities, it has also served as a key regional port city which drives and is driven by activities within the Lake Victoria, the heartbeat of our East African region. It is my intention that unlike in the past where nuclear estate and all the facilities put together by government are made available and they have no benefit, no accruing benefit to communities and to counties. That is going to change. Today also we went through um, the final process of concluding the Gogo Dam end project that will generate additional 8.6 megawatts. And today, again, we approved an investment of 30 million US dollars in that project. And we have given a timeline that this should be complete in the next 24 months, not just to increase the contribution of energy from the western part of Kenya, but to also make it much more predictable and reliable. This again, this investment will make it possible to stabilize our grid and to make sure that we have stable power for both household and manufacturing requirements. Among as many other things that uh, we did is also to agree on how we are going to host all the tournaments that we have starting from AFCON to CHAN to SECAFA and to all the others and to spread all these facilities across Kenya. I want to confirm you, to you, Professor, that we have taken into account the place of Kisum in hosting at least some of the uh, tournaments that we have spread across the country. In uh, the cabinet discussions that we had in this uh, port city of Kisumu, we, have, we also received as part of the ongoing process of uh, the reforms in our sugar industry. Cabinet was briefed of the report that today the certificate from parliament was submitted to the national treasury for the ultimate write-off of 117 billion debts that have for a long time saddled the sugar mills, the five sugar mills in this region, 
namely Sony, Chemelil, Moroni, Miwani, um, Mumias, and also Nzoya. Finally, we now have all the debts behind those companies. And these companies are now poised for new investment and new transformation going into the future. In that same report that we received today, government will now uh, be adjusting the budget. Hopefully by Friday this week or next week, we will be pre presenting to parliament um, a new budget proposal that will make it possible for 1.7 billion shillings to be made available to these five mills to be able to pay farmers, farmer arrears that have been outstanding for as long as four or five years. <laughs> what is happening also will give now, will set the stage for a leasing program that will see these uh, factories and the mills and the um, nuclear estates being used to transform and to provide the mechanism for us to turn around these facilities. And as I made a commitment that there will be no privatization of any part and there will be um, the land that was contributed by communities and by regions will continue to be land that, is, um, that will be for the communities under the county and that this time round, the program will also make it possible for communities using either counties or any other agreed framework for them to benefit from the lease of the facilities, both the nuclear estate and the mills that will be made available to private sector to make sure that they can use it appropriately. To the extent that our bottom-up economic transformation agenda recognizes the blue economy as a vital component of a sustainable national economic growth strategy, shipbuilding occupies an essential place in national development. The place where this event takes place is also highly important. We can all agree today that the Nyanza region is going to play a leading role in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, not only because it typifies our national potential as a country, but also because it is endowed with the capacity to make unique contributions to growth and development. The region is an undisputed leader in the production of crops like cotton, rice, oil seed, sorghum, sweet potatoes, and its famous crop sugar. We have invested in mechanization and extension services together with the revival of irrigation projects. Just two weeks ago, the cabinet made a decision to contract another 40 million US dollar facility that would help expand the Lowan Zoya facility that covers both Siaya and Busia to extend an extra 20,000 acres of rice growing under irrigation in the two counties.